Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you again Tigran Petrosian and Viktor Kochnoi that was played in Kurakawa in 1962. Petrosian had white pieces and he started with C4, English opening. C5, Knight to F3, Knight to F6, symmetrical English. D4, Pawn takes Pawn on D4, Knight takes on D4, G6 with the idea to Fianchetto the bishop to g7, knight to c3, d5, bishop to g5, pawn takes pawn, e3, queen to a5, attacking the bishop on g5, and Petrosian didn't waste any time, he captured the knight and doubled the pawns. Bishop takes on c4, and Kochner played bishop to b4. Original plan was bishop to g7, but he thought that bishop is more useful on b4. Rook to c1, a6, Petrosian castle king side. Knight to d7, a3 attacking the bishop. Bishop to e7, b4 attacking the queen. Queen to e5. And now a very interesting move. f4 attacking the queen and leaving e3 pawn unprotected. Well, Kolchnoy considered, but didn't take. He played queen to b8. What's wrong with queen takes pawn on e3? This is check. Then king to h1 and now rook to f3 is a problem. For example, knight to b6, rook to f3. Okay, so we have queen to b8. What now? Why to move? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause the video and try to find the best move for white. Ready? What did you find? Knight to d5 comes to mind, doesn't it? But Petrosian found a spectacular move, and that is bishop sacrifice on f7. This is check. King takes bishop, queen to b3, check. King to e8, knight to d5, threatening knight to c7, check. Bishop to d6, knight to e6, b5, knight from d to c7, check, and Korshner played king to e7. If, for example, bishop takes on c7, knight takes on c7, check, it's not much better for black anyway. So we have king to e7, knight to d4, looks like that queen may be coming to e6. King to f8. Knight takes rook and Kochnoi resigned. One possible continuation is queen takes knight, then queen to e6 attacking the bishop. If for example bishop goes to e7 and black can't find a good defense. That is why in this position, Kochnoi resigned. What a game. And what about this spectacular move? Did you find bishop takes on f7? And would you play it? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.